working with Bieber, it's like this guy is getting packs from everybody on a day-to-day basis. So it's just like, how can I beat everybody else that's that's sending him beats? Like, okay, I'm a musician, so let me just see how he's feeling right now. I just like to start from scratch. Like every session that I do is from scratch. Like I'll sit down and play a melody, read the room, and just go from there. Georgia, oh yeah, shit. I get my weed from California. That's that shit. I took my chick up to the north, yeah. Badass bitch. I get my light right from the source, yeah. Yeah, that's it. I prefer to use live uh, instrumentation in my production because, you know what I'm saying, it's like where I came from, it's where I was brought up. My mom is a pianist. Her mother was a classically trained um, opera singer. And then on my dad's side, my dad plays trumpet, my uncles play bass and drums and everything. So I kind of had no choice. I started working with Justin in 2010. Just me being on tour with him allowed me just to always create with him because we'll be in it like Iowa, some some random city like Des Moines, and it's like nothing else to do. And we'll just vibe out and make music. Last year, like after changes dropped during the pandemic, really that's when we started working on Justice. We hooped on Sunday, right? So then like I go home like Sunday and I see Justin like post him sitting at the piano. Shindo, which is the guy who, who's on the production with me, and he put like a, a eight bar drum loop on it. I was like, yo, okay, great. We go to the studio and we put like all the elements to Peaches together. I send it to Justin. Two hours later, he hits me back. He said, Giveon's recording it right now. Giveon sent his verse back in like an hour. All this is happening like one day. We got Daniel on probably like three weeks later. Cause we was in the studio like one day and Justin was like, yo, like how can we make this song better? And I was thinking like, yo, let's just add some harmonies or something. Like, let's just, you know, maybe you do another verse. And he was just like, nah, I'm, I'm gonna get Daniel on it. I was like, like you give it, Daniel on the record is like crazy. The intro of the song is where we kind of started from, and that was from the actual IG screen recording that we used. We bring it back in the verse, like at the end of the verse. When we grabbed the Instagram piano, Shindo sent me over this fire drum loop. I think at first it was like a four on the floor he sent me or something. I was just like, no, like let's go to the studio and actually work on it. So then we opened up the drums and then we just wanted the, the kick to kind of be a little loose and a little, you know, a little different than I think how it was at first. It's a groove, like it's just a, a solid groove. And like every drummer knows like the best, well, the best drummers have the best pocket. So it's like, as long, long as we had that, that eight bar loop of the drums, it was just like easy to layer and put everything else on top of it. The next instrument that I wanted to add was the bass guitar. And I just used a P bass. Like I used a $250 $50 P bass for this. I wanted to switch the pockets up for the bass. So on the the verse, as you can see, like the way I played it, um, I was more chill and left some space open. After I got the bass down, I went to the guitar. Then I did some little guitar trills and fills and stuff. So they come in with the bass, as you can see, straight off the um, the first hook. I like to like always put little undertones, like or little solos and stuff like that. Especially when I do guitars, I put like little like little solo lines, like and tuck them real low. And I added some pads right here in the same section.
So on top of the the piano that we ripped off of IG, I added another piano on my own just to give it another layer and it comes in at the hook. When I do layers of pianos, I change the voicing of each different piano just so you know what I'm saying? Each one is sound different and it just kind of makes the song bigger. You don't want to never like have the same piano, like two or three piano sounds with the same chord voicing on it. It just starts getting like too cluttered. After Gibbs verse, it goes into like a broken down bridge, whatever you want to call it. And for this section, I I just wanted to create a, a bed of like pads, strings. Um, I think we added some snaps. I was gonna do a guitar solo first. And I think I had like this sound already like queued up in the session. I just started like freestyling, right? And then Shindo was just like, yo, you should like, you have to do it on that sound. As you can see, I cut it in and out just so it just comes in at spots and not all the way through. I took you guys through the bass track, the guitar track, the pass track, the drums track, the bridge, and all the feels of the guitars and everything. So you combine all those together and you have peaches. I've seen so many, you know, producers or writers and or artists have success. And for me to finally, you know what I'm saying, have that moment, man, it was just awesome. It, it just made everything I worked for like my whole life to, it just made it make sense. I got my um, first placement working with Gucci, man, uh, Lemonade. Yeah, I used to work with Bangladesh a lot and he was playing me the, the beat and I was just like, he was like, grab your bass. And I just started this like bass line that dee 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 ding 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 ding. So like I just played that bass line and then next thing I know Gucci walked in and I was like, oh shit. 